Hello and welcome back to another vlog. This one will be a little bit different and a lot special. I am now moving from Cambridge after five solid years, a degree, a job, a pandemic and a whole lot of memories and love. So come with me on a journey down memory lane. First stop is breakfast at the old bicycle shop with the boys. Then I head to Gresham Road, which was where I stayed in my first year of my PhD and my very first abode in Cambridge. This is Gresham Court, which was a new built in my college back in 2016, and I was the first one to move into this building. It has been a wonderful four years. Bye for now, Hughes Hall. Now, on to our next stop. Along the way, we walk through Parker's Peace, which is actually where I met Ali for the first time many, many years back, pre my Cambridge time. This is the University Arms Hotel, which is so pretty and really posh. This is random, but the Lloyds Bank here is one of my favorite places. It is so incredibly beautiful, as you can tell. And being an international student, I'd be here very often to collect the very generous contributions of mummy and daddy. Now, quick detour through the market square where you can find the best falafel wraps and coconut and mango smoothie I strongly recommend. Now we get to the most iconic building of Cambridge, which is the chapel in King's College. And next to it is the Senate House, where I have not had my graduation ceremony yet. Hopefully next year. Here is the famous mathematical bridge, which has many myths about how Newton built it, etc. I'm not sure how true they are. Um, but I finally make my way to the bus stop and get on the famous U bus, which is the university bus. I have spent so many hours waiting for this bus, which is very, very rarely on time. Morning and night, in the rainy winter days and the very hot summer days, but memories now. <laughs> I finally arrive to the West Cambridge site, which is where all the science departments are. I make my way straight to West Cafe to say hello to some of my lab friends who are still around. We decide to get some lunch together, but I am disappointed to find out that they do not have my favorite Nutella muffin. So I settle for this gigantic donut. Ah, this treat brings back so many memories from the first time I got lost here trying to find my way to my interview for the PhD about what, six years ago? To the last time I left the department in the middle of a pandemic, not knowing when I'll be back. And ta-da, here is the famous Department of Material Science and Metallurgy. And here is my desk, or what used to be my desk. The office is so empty and cold, it makes me sad. This used to always be busy with people and cake and warmth. It kind of makes it easier to say goodbye, I guess. And oh, they still have my name on my little cupboard, which is where I'd keep a stash of emergency snacks instead of important lab stuff. And while chatting to Trish, who is a rowing champion, by the way, I find that she still has this cute little note I wrote her many years ago. I used to be well sweet. Trish offers to let me into the lab for a final tour. And on the way, we walk past my supervisor's offices. And this is where it all started when I came for my interview, etc. And it just makes me even more nostalgic. And here is the tea room where I am embarrassed to say that I spent three quarter of my days there many times. Sometimes morning tea would just bl blend into lunchtime and blend into afternoon tea time while we just sat there and chatted, you know, just trying to avoid doing work at all cost. I decide this is enough sadness, so I head out to the bus stop and wait for the U again. I get off on Grange Road and make my way to Castle Street to show you where I used to live in my second and third years. lot of fun in Nido and it was my first time living in a studio and it was so great. Now 
Let's have a quick detour to Medan, which was the little shop close to Nido where I would get my midnight snacks from and halal meat. I get some beloved kiri, which is famous cheese, if you know, you know, just for good old time's sake. Then I make my way further down Castle Street to study in where I spent my last year as a student. Feeling emotionally and physically drained, I decide to take the taxi to our final stop of the day, which is on the other side of town, to be honest, the Cambridge Mosque. It is the biggest eco-friendly mosque in Europe, apparently. The washroom feels like a spa with dryers for your feet, even. Finally, back to Trumpington, where I have been living for the past year. Let me take you on a little walk, the walk I've done religiously every day during lockdown, irrespective of the weather or how I felt. <laughs> and here is Nissa, which was the new stop for last minute grocery shopping or midnight snacks. And now I'm back home, where I have called my home for the past year. It has been special and wonderful. And thank you, Ali, for that. Cambridge, it has been wonderful. And until next time, much love. Bye.